This is legislation which basically says that the American people, through our government, are going to do everything possible to help folks when they lose a job, and especially when you lose a job as a result of unfair foreign competition. Our workers, our communities, I've seen it in Pennsylvania for decades, we've been getting hammered because we haven't often stood up for our own workers. We haven't fought battles uh, to, to help them get through the horror of job loss because of unfair foreign competition. And all we're saying is we're going to try to help them get from crossing that bridge, from losing that job, in many cases that, that they've had for years or decades. So number one, we're going to try to help them in that crisis. Number two, we're going to do everything we can to retrain them. And they have to go to the training. This is not something we can just hand to them. They have to work at the training. They have to go and, and prepare themselves. But I think most Americans believe that when someone's in crisis, you try to help them, but you also you want to make sure that they can help themselves through training and retraining. And I think we should consider here what it would be like for one of us. Now, each of us has a salary and a health care, have health care here in the Senate, uh, and we have, a, we have a pension plan. So we're doing pretty well here in the United States Senate. Just imagine what it's like, though, to work in a plant for decades doing the same work. And you do that work with, with pride and dignity. You take care of your family. You work in a job that is, has a sustaining wage. And you do that for decades. The same job every day, or virtually the same every day, every year. But you've got two things. You've got the ability to provide for your family, and you've got some dignity. And then just imagine when a, when a, a, a hurricane of, of unfair foreign competition, which our government hasn't done enough to fight against, that sweeps through your factory and wipes you out before you can even think about it. Wipes out every job or a lot of jobs. Almost, sometimes physically they lift the equipment off the floor and move it to another country. Okay, that's what we're talking about here. So someone who's been doing, doing this work for decades in some cases, and all of a sudden they are not only without a job, that's bad enough. But they're, they're faced with the prospect of not being able to transition because they've been in the same job and they haven't had access to education or training that would allow them to transition. It would be nice if we had an economy where everyone could transition, that you could get an educational level, and this is what it should be, by the way, if we're doing the right thing, we're providing this, that we have an education level and an exposure to uh, and an immersion in skills and other advantages that will allow you to absorb that shock, allow you to pivot when someone wipes out, when unfair trade wipes out your job. That's the ideal. That's what we hope that we can, we can um, develop in our education system, our training system, uh, training um, strategies. That's why workforce development is so important, so that people have a broad-based skill level and they can absorb those shocks. But a lot of people can't. And all we're saying with trade adjustment assistance is we're going to help you with, your, with the, what we hope will be a short-term crisis for you and your family, and we're going to try to provide you training opportunities so you can get not, not just get a new job, but maybe you can get a job at a, at a, because you've developed a skill that will allow you to, to uh, have the same income for your family that, you, that you're used to. But at least, at least provide some short-term help for folks and then give them skills for the long term. That's what this is all about. This isn't complicated. It's all about that. 